which graph is the graph of f of x which is equal to the cube root of x and is there any interval over which the function is decreasing okay so we're going to go ahead and graph this and what we're going to do is we're going to end up picking values for x that are perfect cubes since we're finding the cube root of that so we want to find f of x which is going to equal the cube root of x and then that's going to eventually give us the order pair x f of x or f of x is the same as the y coordinate okay so let's go ahead and pick perfect cubes so if we find a perfect cube we can say that negative 8 is a perfect cube okay so if we want to find f of negative 8 the question states we want to find the cube root of negative 8 in other words what number do we have to cube to get negative 8 well the answer is negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 gives us positive 8 so therefore 8 negative 8 negative 2 is our first order pair okay the next cube root number that we can use is negative 1 so if we take f of negative 1 and we want to take the cube root of negative 1 again we want to ask ourselves what number do we have to cube to get negative 1 well the answer is negative 1 and so therefore the order pair is negative 1 negative 1 okay let's go ahead and use 0 okay we want to find f of 0 where 0 is the input we want to find the cube root of 0 which means what number do we have to cube to get 0 well the answer is 0 so therefore we have 0 comma 0 okay the next number now is the positive version of negative 1 which is now 1 so we want to find f of positive 1 and what is the cube root of 1 again meaning what do we need to cube to get 1 well that's 1 so therefore we have 1 comma 1 and then using positive 8 we have f of positive 8 and again we want to find the cube root of positive 8 so what number do you have to cube to get positive 8 well the answer is 2 and therefore there is our ordered pair okay so now we're going to go ahead and plot these points so we're going to plot the points so we're going to start with negative 8 and negative 2 so we're going to move to the right negative 8 and then down negative 2 so there's our order pair of negative 8 comma negative 2 the next order pair is negative 1 negative 1 so here is the order pair negative 1 negative 1 the next order pair is 0 0 so there is our order pair of 0 0 the next order pair is 1 comma 1 and so therefore there is the order pair for 1 1 and then the last order pair is positive 8 and then positive 2 and so therefore there is our order pair for 8 and then 2 and now we're going to go ahead and then connect these dots showing the cube root function of x so therefore here is our graph and again this graph represents the cube root of x so let's go ahead and pick that result so if you look here between a b c and d we have a as the answer according to our graph that we just graphed let's check our result and there it is okay now we need to determine is there any interval over which the function is in is decreasing okay so what that means here is let's take a look here we always read the graph from left to right so if we take a look at this arrow here to the left and we follow it as if it's like a roller coaster you can see that going from left to right we are constantly moving up that means that this function is increasing throughout the entire function so is there any part of this graph that is decreasing well the answer is no so we're going to say no and there is our answer